The short answer is that Minecraft sucks on Xbox. It went from being one of the most unique and interesting experiences with a dedicated community to being a worse version of Minecraft Bedrock that costs more money to play. Gone are the days of the tutorial worlds and the mini game lobbies and all of the other weird quirks and in are all of the issues that I wanted to go through today. I'm gonna split it into six categories to explain why after eight years I stopped exclusively playing on this family of devices and started to play mostly on the PC, my laptop and even even my phone, how does that happen? Let me start with just the easy headline, which is that consoles are often the worst place to play Minecraft Bedrock. Even now, two years after the PlayStation 5 came out, which should be a super powerful console capable of running Minecraft like a super high end PC, uh, they don't have support for 120 hertz, they don't have support for ray tracing, like they said they might, they don't even really take advantage of the hardware, it's not been optimized at all, and what's crazy is it's not just the PlayStation 5, it's the Xbox Series. Series X, Microsoft's own console sucks at running Microsoft's own game. And it's a game that looks like this, you know, I love Minecraft and I love the art style, but it doesn't seem like it should be impossible to get 50 chunks of render distance or to get ray tracing working like they demoed when they were trying to sell Xbox Series Xs, I want to point out by the way. But my issue is that they'll use Minecraft to help them market and sell consoles, but they won't put the legwork to make it actually a great experience on those platforms. They will put the effort in when they can sell more stuff it seems, but when it comes to making the game better for everyone, there seems to be some issues, which is where my first big point comes in, because consoles are not PCs. This is not a controversial statement to your eye, but apparently to the Minecraft development team it is. Consoles are always going to have less power than the highest of NPCs, however one of their big benefits is it's a specific box of hardware, it has the same specs for over a million devices, and so you can optimize for it really well in a way that you can't when there's so many different PC configurations. Therefore you could optimize the game really well for each specific piece of hardware in the PlayStation 5 and the Series X, and even the Series S, which is a weird, you know, kind of branch off console there. Um, however, it's literally been confirmed that Xbox just runs Windows 10 Minecraft but with controller support. It has been some years since that came out so I have no doubt they've been making some changes and hopefully some optimizations but it's nowhere near enough. This should be one of the best ways to play Minecraft because it's not a very intensive game and so when you play a current gen console you should be getting significantly better performance than playing on a last gen console in a way that you just don't right now. Side note, it's a very strange to call an Xbox One a last gen console. But anyway, the biggest issue with saying that Minecraft uh, on console is just going to be the Windows version of Minecraft but with controller support is my second point here because controller support. The way that 4J Studios mapped a PC games to Xbox controllers for the Xbox 360 edition was really smart. It was so smart in fact that they used similar but obviously taking into account the local hardware uh, designs for their controls for the Switch and the Wii U and for every other platform that existed and lots of people really liked it. A lot of people could get into Minecraft console as a result of these. However, instead of using that entire system that was developed by people, specifically making games for the Xbox 360, then the Xbox One, etc, etc, instead of using that really good controller support that people you were used to and really liked, or instead of designing controls straight up from scratch, they took controller support that was famously terrible from Windows 10, and they didn't adjust it for a while. It took a lot of complaints the community to fix obvious things about, well, if you're sliding to the right with your stick, you should be able to keep placing blocks. There were all sorts of changes that just seemed so obvious that didn't come out by default and had to be lobbied by the community, and still even now, there's all sorts of issues. I mean, if we ignore the terrible button mapping, and if we ignore the drop, uh, you know, button being this for some reason, and if we ignore everything about that, because you can fix these controls, they are fully remappable in a way that old uh, con uh, control support wasn't, I really do like that. Fly speed is incredible incredibly low. It really does just feel like you're sprinting through the air in some cases. It needs to be incredibly fast because obviously if you can't use slash TP as easily as you can't as well when you've just got a controller and no keyboard, maybe being able to fly around is extra important. But instead of thinking about that, they just saw, it seems, Minecraft console is, yeah, it's like a PC, but these guys use uh, controllers over there. That's wacky. That controller, where's the keyboard at? Oh, I haven't considered where the keyboard must be. And so the quick selection for commands menu, which they added to the game around this time, uh, they haven't updated it a single time. You know, there are all sorts of great new commands which have been added since then, and there's all sorts of commands that existed back then that people would have loved, and none of them are available in the quick select menu. You have to type in yourself using an Xbox controller slash 
fill. And then some of these weird, I think they're called tildes, the, the little squiggly lines, and then they're, they're not easy to find on an Xbox controller. Um, I'm, I'm just saying, right, going through the whole menu just to type these things button by button, uh, it, it's so, so, so frustrating and basically requires if you're a hardcore uh, controller person who wants to get into commands, you need a keyboard and that is a mistake. Imagine if uh, Minecraft was a console game, which they brought to PC and uh, they didn't let you use your keyboard. Instead, you had to use an on-screen style keyboard because that's what they're used to on Xbox. That is the equivalent of what they have done here. And uh, yeah, it just really shows that the priority is in making a game for people who have keyboards, whether, you know, the, the, the one that's touched, which is still terrible, but like it's less terrible because you use it a lot more, um, or for people on the PC. And uh, if you don't have one of those, well, you know what? You represent like 5% of our market share. So what do we care? That's what it feels like at the very least. I can't confirm those other discussions they're having internally. But what I can say is that the limitations are awful. I mean, think about it. Minecraft um, being the exact same across all versions is amazing for crossplay. That's why they made Better Together Minecraft. That's why they introduced Bedrock to the consoles. However, if you're playing on a phone or a PC or anything else, then you have access to downloading your own add-ons, your own skins, your own worlds, your own anything you want outside of the marketplace. The marketplace is just this premium option. If you're on a console, they do not allow those things. And I want to be fair to Mojang here. This is not within their remit. It is within the teams at Sony or Xbox, you know, the actual development uh, people, and realistically, they're never going to allow you to download external files to modify your game. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things they've tried, but it's it's not going to happen. And so, ultimately, yeah, of course you can't download worlds, add-ons, or skins outside of the game, and then import them into your Xbox version of Minecraft. However, instead of seeing this restriction and going, oh, yeah, that's a shame. The only way you can, uh, you know, get things is via the marketplace, which costs money. That sure is a downside. I'd love to add these features we have on other platforms. Instead, the response is like, oh. So what you're saying is you can't do the version of downloading maps where you do it for free, and instead you have to pay us. Oh, this is such a serious, serious problem. I'll, I'll get my best people on that immediately. Oh, this is a real tragedy. In the next, like, 10, 20 years, we will consider fixing that. But in the meantime, Oh, it sucks that you have to buy things on the market. This was- this isn't intentional. There's no way we could have known. Oh, it's terrible. I'm so sorry for you. And so there is no way to access a whole host of content at all. And a lot of content that has an equivalent, you have to pay for. That sure does suck by itself. I sure am not a fan of that, you might say. But then also servers. You are limited to the five servers that Microsoft has sanctioned, and they've sanctioned them because they get a cut of the, the sales, obviously. Um, and, you know, th that sounds like um, conspiracy mode. It's like, that is how that, you know, like they, they get approved as servers because they have a certain thing. And also when you become an approved server, you have to uh, share a certain percentage of the proceeds because uh, it's, that's handled by Mojang. That, that's, that's how that works. And so the only way to play on servers is to play on the ones that money. You can join your friends directly, or you can join on a realm, cost money, or you can play on a server, and uh, the only servers that are available are the ones that are, you know, hey, you know, it sure does suck that you have to give us money, but this was unpredictable. I, uh, you know, I, I was just sitting here eating my, <laughs> I'm not going to do the goose thing. You know, somewhere in there, just have me on a goose. I want to see that later. Thank you. I'm sorry if my dumb editing demands. All in all, it just costs more to play Minecraft on a console, and that's something that they don't show any intention of wanting to fix, because, you know, to be fair to them, why would you spend money to fix a problem that gives you money? I, I, I do see it on that level, but the cost breakdown of playing on a, you know what, let's talk about the cost breakdown. Xbox Live is required to play online uh, if you are on a Microsoft console. Funnily enough, this means that if you're using the Xbox Live service, which is how Minecraft runs on all platforms, the only place where you have to pay for it is if you're on Microsoft's own console, but still, it means that you have to pay a yearly subscription to play your $20 game online. This means that instead of costing $20 if you want to play Minecraft, playing Minecraft online is actually a more costly experience, assuming we're talking just about the consoles. Every other device you can play online, included in your uh, sale, by the way. Also, it's cheaper on phones, so, you know, pay, pay less money up front, pay less money <laughs> to play online because it's free, but instead you pay $60 for a, a year of online membership. There are other benefits to it now, and so, you know, they're, they're, it's, it's not terrible, but I played Minecraft Xbox for eight years and had to randomly hop online at times, and, uh, 
so that was $480 in subscription fees just to pay, play this game. Ultimately, I did also then use it to play other games as well. However, I would have stopped a lot sooner, and so there is a real opportunity cost of me playing Minecraft that is measured in the hundreds of dollars, plus my $20 buy-in. That makes Minecraft cost me $500 over eight years, and that's kind of being, you know, over the top. You could argue that, like, well, what about, uh, you know, because we're not including the buying of the Xboxes for the same reason as well. I used it for other things, and so I used the Xbox Live for other things, and I used the Minecraft uh, technically to make videos that made me a lot more than $20, but still, you know how much it cost me to play Minecraft on PC? I bought it many years ago. I didn't even need to buy it, because if you buy Minecraft Java, you get a free copy of Minecraft Windows 10, but mine didn't work, and so I spent $20 uh, pounds or something like that uh, in 2017 and it's just worked ever since it never asks if I want to pay a $60 subscription fee It never says hey, I know she's been downloading a lot of content. Do you want to give us some money for that? Um, it's, it, it, these aren't things that happen and it's kind of crazy, uh, but that is just cost breakdown, right? There's also the optimization of the game as a whole on the PC version of Minecraft, I can play with up to 100 chunks of render distance. That is before what we talk about, what you can do if you alter the game files. Uh, the render distances you get are insane there, but even 100 chunks is 1,600 blocks in every direction. On Xbox, it's very limited. You know, 28 chunks might sound like it's one quarter of 100 chunks, but because it's a circular area, it's actually significantly smaller. I mean, we could do the maths on, well, it's 2 pi r squared, to make the, you know, the radius difference, and you can try and work it out for yourself, but it's a significantly shortened render distance, and it's a shame, because sure, I understand my PC is probably slightly more powerful than the Xbox, but is it 10 times as powerful? Also, on Xbox, the game is uh, limited in all sorts of other ways. For instance, if I want to close the game on the PC, uh, th th there's this wonderful feature, uh, have, have you heard of it? It's, so it's next to that weird X and the square that makes your window bigger. It's, co it's called the minus icon, I think. Um, yeah, the minus icon, it makes the window smaller. It's revolutionary, and Minecraft actually hibernates when you do this on the PC. It's amazing. You can just make the game go away for a bit, and it kind of reloads up later. If you do this on Xbox, it tends to crash more often than not. Admittedly, I'm talking about my Xbox One experience here. I haven't played the Series X. Maybe they've actually nailed uh, leaving the game and coming back. But on the Xbox One, if you try to load up Minecraft, and then you go back to the dashboard because you're dealing with your Xbox Live membership because you got to pay the $60 this year, or you're just checking out your friends list, and then you want to come back into the game, it needs to fully reload, and more often than not, it just crashes. And that's just the average user experience. In my experience, it can then end up being stuck in this limbo state between crashed and not crashed, and you just kind of sit there hoping that eventually it lets you play Minecraft, but then it says that you don't own Minecraft now for some reason, and it's like, come on, I just want to play the game. Why did you have to close it this way? The, the hibernation function is entirely pointless on an Xbox because the console itself has a hibernation feature if I really do leave my game for that many hours, but I don't think we need to fully minimize uh, Minecraft for the sake of a five second hop into a menu, but Minecraft disagrees with me. And uh, yeah, again, I, I have yet to play on the Series X. I cannot comment as to how well it's optimized there, besides people saying, oh yeah, they didn't actually improve the render distance or in-game performance, and so I don't imagine they did a lot on the outside of the game, which is a it's a grand shame, right? It's, it's a brand new version of Minecraft. It's a brand new Microsoft system. We could use this as a great example of how good Microsoft games are on Microsoft hardware, but instead you gave me a fun reminder that somehow my phone is more powerful than my console, and uh, yeah, I, I ultimately uh, they optimize very well on phones, they optimize very well on PCs, and uh, when it comes to consoles, they uh, oh, they were busy that day, because you know, they, they gotta deal with all of the, the, the missing features, because RTX and SuperDuper Graphics have now both done this exact same thing. Dropping an amazing trailer at a time where they're trying to sell a console and, uh, you know, mentioning that this is what it's going to look like and then suspiciously, very quietly, long after people have bought the consoles, saying that, oh, we just couldn't do that. In the case of RTX, they added insult to injury because they accidentally added RTX to an Xbox beta before confirming, oopsie, even though it worked just fine, we don't want you having, I'm sorry, we just can't do it, oopsie, uh, you know how it is sometimes. The number of features that were so close 
clearly needed but weren't included in the Xbox version of Minecraft um, led to the reviews for Minecraft Bedrock on Xbox dropping so bad they had to reset the rating for the game. That's how low, uh, lowly rated Minecraft on Xbox was. But if we leave aside these graphical improvements, we leave besides uh, optimization and performance, and we leave all of that to the side, uh, just the thinking about the future development of the game is going to lead you to realize that there's always going to be missing features on the console versions. Because the console versions are a small percentage of the player's uh, player base, that whenever there's a fun feature that you might be thinking of being added to Minecraft, they're probably not going to think of console when they add that feature. For instance, why add custom super flats, which are one of the most fun things you can do in the console edition, because there are websites that do that for you. There's no point adding a feature to the game which is already being done by some external tool, and so it's going to be a lower priority than if they were thinking, oh yeah, these guys literally can't play it because there's no downloads. Um, why add a quick chat functionality that actually works when PC players just have access to a keyboard? Why allow players to share maps with each other directly through some map sharing service like Mario Maker 2 um, when there's already a way to just download maps outside the game and ultimately we prefer you buy the maps inside of it. There are so many features like this where just if you're thinking about the broad Minecraft bedrock player base you're not going to consider the 10% of players who don't have access to downloads who don't have access to external websites who don't have access to a keyboard in 99% of cases and so overall I switch to PC because I want to be where the bleeding edge is. I want to be where the new features being added and focused on and cared about. I want to be playing, uh, ideally, a slightly more bug-free platform because there are more people dedicated to it. I want to be where these features are being dedicated and ultimately I want it to be a better experience for me with fewer limitations, with better <laughs> control mapping and more weird quirky features like RTX was amazing to go through. Um, I do think that Minecraft PC is the place to do it and that is why I switched. But at the same time, I'm having real performance issues with 1.19 on my laptop. I have a pretty high-end laptop, if you care, it's an i7 and an RTX 2070, and I'm struggling to get 20 FPS while recording at 720p sometimes. No idea why or what, and I've tried so many things to fix it, but I think this is the time to try Xbox again. The Series X is now actually buyable. It's crazy that it's taken two years for normal people to get their hands on it without having to get into waiting lists or do crazy stuff, um, but now that that new console is out, maybe now now is the time to go get one, give it a try, and see what Minecraft on consoles is about in the modern age. All I've heard is reports from people, and I've seen that it is barely uh, changed, but maybe Minecraft on the Series X is a great pick up and play game for just those, you know, like a uh, half an hour in the evening while you're sat on the sofa, uh, rather than watching a TV show, hop into some Minecraft. Maybe by getting into Minecraft on a device that I can use for all my serious needs, but also that I can use uh, as a casual kind of like, yeah, I'm on the sofa, just playing around this anyway and uh, yeah that is my plan if, if you're curious more about more of my plan just for a fun update so I'm in the US as you're seeing this and my plan is to go to one of the states that has 0% sales tax. I think Oregon and Montana are the closest ones to me in Nevada. And so, you know, all you gotta do is you go to one of those places and you save yourself like 8% on the sale, see? And if you think about how much it costs to drive across three states, it's definitely uh, a, a, a great deal compared to paying, what would it be like, $34 in sales tax? So I'm gonna be doing some form of a road trip because I just like the idea of jurisdiction hopping uh, like that. And uh, speaking of jurisdiction hopping, I hope that you hop over to my jurisdiction by subscribing to the channel. I think most YouTube viewers who watch a video don't subscribe at the end because why do you really need to? But if you want to show your support for this video and the channel and the fact that I've poured so many years of my life into loving this game that just isn't loving me back anymore, um, I would love to uh, see your subscription. And if you think I earned it after this video, I'd really appreciate you saying that with your actions. And if you don't have any actions, then I hope you have a good day anyway, because I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Can you do that? Okay, this is dumb. Um, just while we're here. Can you put my face on a goose? Just for <laughs> some random part of this video. Um, I just want to see what it looks like in the end, you know? I, uh, 
I, don't, I, I just had an idea this morning. I was like, I want me on a goose. And I was going to do it myself, and I realized that would be, that'd be an interesting way to spend a morning. But instead, by the time this goes out, I'll have forgotten I asked you. And so, okay. 